How to create an Adobe Flash slideshow. Don't just send people a stack of static photo files. Share them in style by creating a slideshow in Flash. You will need a computer with internet, Adobe Flash CS4, and digital photos. Step 1. In Adobe Flash, select Flash File Action Script 3.0 from the Create New menu. Switch the workspace layout by clicking on the drop down menu box in the upper left of the top menu bar and selecting Designer. Change the size and color of the document by adjusting the settings in the Properties panel. Step 2. From the Timeline panel, click the New Layer button until you have three layers. Double-click on each layer to rename it. Starting from the bottom, name the layers Actions, Thumbnails, and Pictures. Step 3. Import your pictures by going to File, Import, Import to Library. Browse the pictures you want to import. You can select multiple pictures by holding down the control key and clicking multiple images. Once you've selected your images, click Open. You'll see the imported images in the library panel. Step 4. With the thumbnails layer selected in the timeline, drag one of the imported images onto the document. In Properties, click on the chain link icon to unconstrain the width and height values. Then, resize them both to 100. Position the image at the bottom left of the document. Repeat this process for the remaining images so that they are in a row at the bottom of the document. Adjust the image's alignment in the row by selecting all of them and choosing the desired options from the Align panel. Step 5. Select the first image and hit the F8 key on the keyboard. Change the name to BTN1. Change the type to Button and click OK. In the Properties panel, change the instance name to Button1. Select the next image from the menu and repeat the process, naming it BTN2 and Button2. Continue the process for each menu item. Step 6. From the timeline, select the first frame of the Pictures layer. In Properties, change the name of this frame to Pick 1. Drag the image corresponding with the first menu item onto the stage. Resize it in the Properties panel, remembering to click on the chain link icon to reconstrain the width and height values. Move the image to the center of the document above the menu. Step 7. In the timeline, right-click or command-click on a Mac on the second frame of the thumbnails layer and select Insert Frame. Step 8. Right-click on the second frame of the pictures layer and select Insert Blank Keyframe. In Properties, change the name of this frame to Pick 2. Now, drag the next image onto the document, resizing and centering it above the menu. Repeat this process for the remaining images, incrementing the frame names each time. Step 9. In the timeline, select the first frame of the Actions layer and hit F9 to bring up the Actions panel. On the first line, type the Stop function to stop the pages from cycling through. Hit Enter. On the next line, write a script that assigns a function to button 1. Call this function Show Pick 1 and hit Enter to skip a line and write a script for button 2, calling the function Show Pick 2. Repeat for the remaining buttons. Step 10. When you are finished, hit Enter to skip a line and create the Show Pick 1 function, telling the animation to go to the Pick 1 frame and stop. Hit Enter to skip to the next line and type the Show Pick 2 function, telling the animation to go to the Pick 2 frame and stop. Repeat this process for the rest of the buttons. To preview the document, go to Control, Test Movie from the top menu. Step 11. Publish the website by going to File, Publish Settings. Check both the SWF and HTML boxes. Rename both files and select a location to save. Then click Publish and upload all of the published files to your web server. To access the Flash page, navigate to the HTML file on your web server. Did you know? Texas Instruments patented the first filmless electronic camera in 1972.